Lions are the most dangerous predators on the face of the earth. And so we added them to Minecraft with tons of insane abilities. Welcome to 100 Days as a Lion, where my two friends, <coughs> poachers, have 100 days to hunt me down as a lion. Will my lion powers be enough to survive? Let's find out. On day one, I spawned into the world. Whoa, look, I'm a baby lion. Look at this thing. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so cute. What? Okay, well, I know this is a survival survival challenge, so I'm gonna go outside and see what I have to deal with. Oi! Oi! Oi it's a lion. lion! So those two idiots right there are hunters, and I obviously am a lion. They have 100 days to kill me in this world, and I have to, you know, well, survive. So, uh, the game starts now! Oi! We want to get the lion! Get okay, I'm just gonna run this way. We're gonna go up the hill. We can definitely dodge them. I have a good plan here. Stop right there! Now watch, I'm gonna go back down into the lion's den, and let me grab some of this hay for food. Grab a bunch of this food. Yeah, they're still up there looking for me. Grab a few more hay bales, and then we're gone. Oh, you see him? Oh, I lost his scent, partner. Okay, we got 16. Come on, don't notice me. Oh, they're really close. There we go. We got it all. Okay, let's get out of here. We got it all. We got everything useful. Okay, let's go. Oi! Stop, oh. lion! Oh, he sees me! Okay, we gotta him? go again. Where is Over he? here, let's go partner. Into the jungle. We're gonna go into the cave. jungle. Go, little lion, go! You can make it! Are they still behind me? No, I don't think they're behind me. I think we're losing them. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there's so many places I can hide now. We're just gonna keep running straight though for the second. Let's go into this jungle. We'll be safe over in the jungle. Okay, this looks like a good place to call home. I can make a little home right here. Now that we're safe, let me tell you a little bit more about my lion and lion abilities. First off, right now, I am obviously a baby lion. I mean, look at me. I'm tiny, I'm cute. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. I also have only five hearts of health, as you know. So I've reduced health right now, but a baby lion can also learn some moves. Let me show you. So if I hit a special hotkey, you're gonna notice I have an age tree. I'm a baby right now. I can become a teenager for 500 steak and then an adult leader and then an omega lion. Yeah. There is five different forms of lion within this mod that we made. On top of that, if I hit another key, you're gonna notice I have a utility tree where I can learn roar, lion's breath, waterlogged, super jump, and lion scent. Gain the ability to detect nearby ores. I can literally smell out ores. And finally is the combat tree where I get different attacks like a claw, my foot, Lion Push, Stealth Attack, and Lion's Wrath. Yeah, tons of awesome abilities that I'm gonna get to use against the hunters to try and survive. But it looks like night's falling, and so we gotta start working on a basic shelter. Huh, guys, there's an advertisement falling from the sky! Run, run! Okay, but for real, let me tell you about T3 Arena. T3 Arena is an action-packed mobile 3v3 shooter arena game. Not only can you battle people online, but you can also pick from a wide variety of heroes, all who have their own insane abilities. I've been playing this game a ton already, and it is super, super addicting. Me and Unicorn Man even get to play together as friends in awesome game modes like Team Deathmatch, Crystal Assault, and Payload Escort. And don't worry if you stink at shooter games. Unlike most, T3 Arena provides you with an auto-firing mechanic, making it easy for anyone to pick up the game. If you want to play T3 Arena, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below for more information. This link will bring you to TapTap's website. TapTap is a mobile games discovery platform where you can find tons of unique experiences just like T3 Arena. I highly recommend heading over to TapTap if you love mobile gaming as much as I do. They have so many amazing experiences on there, you won't want to miss any of them. So once again, click the link in the description below, scan the QR code on screen, or head on over to TapTap to play T3 Arena. I'll see you in the battle soon. Okay, we'll simply just put a door right here. And there we go, we got an entrance to our base. Now let's go quickly find some sheep to make a bed. Okay, let's make the bed. And now let's sleep the first night away. Okay, day two, we have a lot of work to do. Obviously right now we just have a little wooden pickaxe. We have a lot of stuff we need to do and obviously we need our base to be better than this. We are a lion. We need a proper lion's den by the end of this. We spawned in one, but it was kind of instantly attacked by the hunters. So because of that, we have to make a new one. But for right now, this will do pretty disguised. I covered this up just in case zombies came from the cave below, but this does give me cave access and there is actually some coal right here on the ground. So I can just place a few of these bad boys around. And boom, now the entire cave is lit up and I don't have to worry about mob spawning. Pretty useless cave though. There we go. Now let's make our stone pickaxe. Okay, let's get to work on this base, shall we? So first things first, let's go down into the big spooky cave because that's where I'm gonna probably find the ores I need. Oh, another one of you. Go away. Okay, he's dead. There we go, grab some iron. Okay, let's get up here. Let's make a furnace and let's melt our iron. Okay, we got half the iron done. Let's make a shield. Cool, now I'm already feeling much better. Make ourselves an iron pickaxe. 
Okay, iron's done. Let's go ahead and make some more torches and let's head on down. He's dead. Okay, so I've looked around the cave in this kind of area. There's a lot of coal and stuff. But luckily, the mobs, we don't have to really worry about them anymore now that we got the shield. So, yeah, we're just gonna do a lot of mining, bring it all back to the base, and then we'll design the base so we at least have a nice looking den. Because we're a lion. We can't live in a house. We gotta live in a den. Okay, so we'll keep the wall up for now, but let's start designing this into a den. Okay, so now the den is done. This looks a little bit more like a den. We got a little hay bed over here. Slowly, this is gonna turn to a den, and I'm very happy with this for the night. We'll go to bed, and uh, on to day three. And good morning on day three. So today, it is time to start looking at doing some of our upgrades. So if we open up the R1, we have Claw, which only costs five emeralds to do. And if we open up the other one, we'll see that this one costs two emeralds, 32 rotten flesh, and a bucket of milk. The rotten flesh and the bucket of milk are easy, but getting seven emeralds between the two upgrades I'm gonna need is gonna be tough. To do it, we're gonna need a village. Because villagers like emeralds and I want emeralds. So we gotta go find a village, trade with them to get the emeralds, and then we can get those two upgrades. We have our sword and shield, so we're just gonna quickly smelt up the rest of the iron we got, make some armor, and then head out to go find a village. Okay, cool. We got some armor on, so now we're good to go. Village, here I come. I spent days four to six simply looking for a village so I could trade for some emeralds. And it turned out finding a village was way harder than normal for some reason. We found a village, so I'm just looking for some villagers that already have some jobs so I can trade with them. Where's a proper adult jobbed villager? Where's the adult villagers? Oh, there's one. You, trade. 20 wheat will get me an emerald or 22 carrots. Okay, I don't have either of those. That's not helpful, sir. Okay, well, actually, it looks like we can do the hay trade. There's actually hay bales around this place. So if we break these and then go trade this hay, we should be able to get the emeralds we need to get the upgrade. Okay, where the here's the farmer. There we go. We just got four emeralds. And now we have six emeralds. We literally need three more wheat. A hay bale, right there. There we go. We now have enough emeralds to do the upgrade. First, we need to get the rotten flesh and the bucket of milk. So let's quickly head back to the house, which is all the way back there. So while I'm here, and I traveled all the way this way. Um, that's a long way back. Well, let's go. Okay, so we're back at the base. I currently have 13 rotten flesh. Now let's go see if we can find some zombies down here. What is that? What? I had a feeling this had to be something. Oh my god. Where did this lead up to? Whoa, we're pretty low. At the very least, I got a diamond and we made it. Let me quickly, while we're out here, let me quickly get this milk taken care of. Where'd the cow go? There you are. Milk you. Ah. Now we just need the rotten flesh and now that it's night, we just gotta find some zombies. Ooh. Yes, that should be it. 32, we got it. We'll head back to our little den. We'll go ahead and upgrade these things and then we'll try out these upgrades. Okay, and we're back at the base. Now let's go ahead and let's try these upgrades out. First, for five emeralds, we get claw. Then for the remaining things, we get roar. Now you'll see my claw ability is an actual attack that goes on my hand that causes the target to bleed for 30 seconds. So let's go and let's try out claw real quick. Let's try it against this skeleton here. See how he's bleeding? Look at that. And look at that, I didn't even have to unshield. He just took constant damage over time that killed him using bleed. Now let's go ahead and let's try roar. Okay, so if we go over here to these pigs and we try roar out, if I hit numpad one, it should give all these things nausea. I don't know if, how, if it's gonna make a noise or not, but let's try it. Okay, it made a noise, that was cool. And now I can't tell if it's working or not, but uh, I'm gonna have to assume it does. When I do that near the hunters, they're gonna get nauseous and they won't be able to fight me anymore. We have our first two lion abilities done. That is awesome. So next what we wanna do is get our age from baby to teenager. But to do that, we're gonna need 500 raw steak. After unlocking both roar and claw, it is now time to age up into a teen lion. But to do that, it's gonna be extremely difficult. You see, I need 500 raw steak to upgrade into a adult. You know what that means. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's grab all the raw beef. This should be everything we need as far as the upgrade's concerned. Right here, we are a baby lion. One last look at our baby lion form before we change. And now I click teen and look, we're bigger. Look at us. Not full size, but medium size lion. Let's see how we run. Do we run cool? Oh, look at that. We run really cool. We walk cool. This is awesome. Oh, and look, the claw, this one actually has a claw ability. Look at that. 
Rawr. So I actually swipe and scratch at my target. Now that I have 10 hearts and scratch ability, I'm actually in a much better circumstance when it comes to fighting the hunters, which I'm sure they're hunting me down as we speak. Now that I'm a teenage lion, it is time for me to upgrade my abilities further. So I already have the claw ability and I want to get the foot ability because it's like a permanent diamond sword that I can also enchant. And that would go great along with my claw that causes bleed. So we want to get the foot weapon next, which is going to require 10 emeralds and five diamonds. And that's going to be pretty tricky to do. So uh, let's get to work. There we go, some diamonds. On day 16, I was able to find the last diamonds I needed for my foot ability. Now I just needed to go to a village for some emeralds. Okay, let's look for a villager that's willing to do trades with me. Now I don't see any villagers near here. So let's go up here. Nothing in there. Anyone in here? Nope. Anyone in this hole? Yeah, he's trapped. Okay, let me see if I can help him get up here. Yeah, now you can have a job. Let's see if you go get go get yourself a job. <gasps> oh, the hunters, they're here. Oh god, do they know I'm here? I see them. They're they're sneaking around. They must have seen me. What is that? What is that? What are they doing? What is that thing? Um <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, <laughs> that wasn't very effective. Oh my god, they just launched a cannon! I don't think they see me. Okay, let's get back. Oh god, they're blowing up the village with a cannon. Let's see, where are they? They still don't see me, do they? Oh, oh, they're coming up. I'm going, I'm going for it. We bled him, we bled him. Now we'll roar him. Now he should be nauseous. Let's go around this way. He died, he died, we got him with the bleed. There's only one more. Oh, that's a gun. Let's go, climb here. Oh, that did half my heart. Oh, I got to be super careful. If he hits me again, I might die. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Just running right back. I don't see him anymore, partner. Oh my God. Let's get him with bleed. Let's get him with bleed. Who? No. Oh, he's, he's running. I think he's running. Oh, no unicorns here. Unicorns here. I see his name. There he is. There he is. Where, where's the other one? Let's get him. Oh, this did even more. I'm out. Oh, I'm out of here. We need to go fast. After the hunters chased me out of my village, I had to go in search of another, as I still needed emeralds to get my next attack upgrade. And after almost dying to the hunters, I definitely needed this upgrade fast. Okay, so I found a village. Let's see how this one works. Hopefully, I don't get murdered at this village. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, what are you going to trade me? Ooh, if I get him 32 rotten flesh, I'll get one emerald. That's pretty slow. And I need 10 for the foot upgrade. Can I trade with you? Are you going to trade with me? You are. You. What are you? Uh, 10 clay will get me one emerald. Now I need 10. So it'll be 100 clay that I need to get, which honestly isn't too bad. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, we have enough. We have enough to do it. Okay, we have all the clay we need. So let's go back to the village and let's trade it for the emeralds. <sighs> There we go, we have all the emeralds we need. Let's go back to the house, grab our diamonds, and then do the next attack upgrade. Okay, we got the diamonds. Now let's open up the attack menu, and we can do the foot upgrade. And now we've done it. So we can now see we have the foot upgrade in our inventory, which works just like a diamond sword. So I don't even need this iron sword anymore. So I have my sword and my claw ability. These are gonna be really powerful. And good morning. So it is day 21 currently. We're still alive and still doing well. Now, now the other day I got attacked in the village by the hunters. So I need to get my revenge. So I'm gonna go back to that village and show the hunters who's boss. Okay, I'm at the village right now. Gotta be careful in case they're here. I don't think they are. I don't see them on my mini map. So I don't think the hunters are here anymore, which means I guess they might not be here, but they must have a base nearby. Cause there's no way they got here and unicorn came back so quick if they didn't at least have have a base nearby so I have to find that so I know where they're attacking me from I guess they could be anywhere so I'm gonna start by picking a direction so let's go let's go this way I wanted to get revenge on the hunters for attacking me earlier and with my new foot ability I think I can take them on so I searched for their base and it turns out that they stayed at spawn but it still took me till day 24 to find them because who would stay at spawn okay let's make our way back towards the house for right now we're still like 400 blocks away oh they're on my mini map is this their base we may have actually found it hold up okay yeah this is a good treat I, have a, I can see i can see very well over here look at them so they're currently in their base it looks like this is spawn right yo check this out i've got, I've got knuckle oh. dusters oh my goodness ow oh god oh stop 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 jeez <laughs> you got a little internal bleeding going on huh oh yeah oh my goodness i figure you know ryan made me bleed earlier so i'm gonna make him bleed you know what i mean they're literally in spawn act i just this is the spawn building okay i need them to separate once they separate i can go for the attack don't let them see us Okay, he's farming. Okay, you, wait, unicorn's walking away. Oh, I have a chance here. They're separated. I'm going for it. Lion attack! Oh, God! Come here, you. Oh, I don't fit through the door. I have to go around this way. Let's go. This. Oh, ow! Oh, those hurt. I have an idea. Whoa, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. I have an idea. Ready? Watch this. Oh, my God. One down, baby. Oh, 
Oh, I got hit by a trap. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Ooh. We gotta be careful. There seems to be traps around that are hurting me. Oh, another one. No, I'm stuck. Oh, it slows you. Oh, go this way, go this way, go this way. Ooh. I've killed them all multiple times, but they spawn here. So this makes it a little difficult. Let's go back up here. Oh, let's roar again. Ooh, we can get him here. I made him bleed. That should kill him. That should kill him, right? Oh my God. No, God, no. Yes, okay, that's a good one. Where's the other one? Oh my God, things are glitching out. I I'm gonna have to leave this fight. I think my graphics card is glitching out. Like, did he look like he was flying there? Okay, we're gone. We gotta go. We're out of here. I can't do it with this graphic card. I don't know if that's even being picked up on the recording software. Something is bugging out. I gotta go. And we're home. Okay, so now that we're back to the base, look, I'll say we were half defeated in that battle, okay? My graphics card was like glitching out or something, but they did almost kill me. Yeah, I need more hearts. I need to be a stronger lion. A teenage lion is not strong enough. We need to go for the adult. We're going straight for it. But to do it, we need 500 raw pork chop and 32 diamonds. So I have three diamonds right now. So I still need 29 diamonds. So I'm gonna work on getting the diamonds first because I feel like that would be the easiest thing to do. Perfect, that gives us nine diamonds, which means we got 23 more to go. Okay, so we officially have all the diamonds we need. So now, all we need to do to finish the upgrade is get 500 raw pork chop. And getting 500 raw pork chop is not going to be easy. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make a looting sword. And to do that, I need to make an enchanting table, which is gonna require both diamonds that we got, unfortunately. And then we get some obsidian, which also requires a diamond pickaxe, and some books. But uh, yeah, you basically get it. We're gonna go ahead, let's, let's just quickly get the stuff we need from the enchanting table. Perfect, and that's all the diamonds we need. Now we get the obsidian, and there we go. Now we just need two books. Here's some sugar cane, which we can now combine with our leather back at home, and we will have ourselves some books. Okay, let's turn this into paper. There we go, make a book. There we go. Let's grab the rest of the supplies, and let's make this bad boy. Boom, now we have an enchanting table. Now let's go ahead and let's make a bunch of wooden swords that we can then use as on the enchanter till we get looting. Okay, let's make a bunch of wooden swords now. Okay, let's see. Is looting there? I don't see it. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one next. No, no, no. And no. Okay, we ran out of lapis, so I can't give up. I'm gonna quickly head back to the mine, grab some lapis, make some more wooden swords, and we're gonna keep trying this thing. Okay, so my trick wasn't working, so I went and made some bookshelves instead. So let's see if these increase, because I think these are supposed to increase. Now let's try. Nope, 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 nope. So I tried for looting. I used all my levels. I literally can't get it. No, I failed. I failed miserably at getting it. I've burned half the swords too. And I, uh, I guess we're not getting the looting sword. We're just gonna do this the hard way. Okay, great. Look, the sun's rising. I guess already welcome. What, we're on 28? Well, welcome to day 29. And I guess today is gonna be the day we go and murder some pigs. Okay, and I think that's the last pig I needed. That's 41 raw pork chop. Let's head home. How far are we? We're currently, okay, only 700 blocks. So let's quickly get back to the base and then we're gonna go ahead and I think that's enough. I think we can finally turn into an adult. So this, this could be goodbye to this cute team form. Okay, here we are. Let's do this. When we go to G, we go to level three. We can do it. You see they both turn white. Let's do this outside. Say goodbye to the teenager and hello to the adult. Look at him. He's a bigger version. So now I'm even bigger. I have 15 hearts of HP. I have constant speed three and strength three. So look how fast I am as an adult lion really fast so I'm super fast I'm super strong and I am ready to take down those hunters what was, that? what was that explosion why did I just hear an explosion oh you know what it probably was it was probably just a creeper attacking one of those dudes no 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 I'm wrong I see them on my mini map they are here I don't want them near my base we're gonna roar them before they find the base we gotta roar them let's go where are they at I see them I see them they're way up here oh I see them <laughs> Right, oh god! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, I made him nauseous. Where's the other one? He's at the base. He's at the base. I heard TNT. Oh! What is that? Oh, that's a mine. Careful, Ryan. That's a mine at my door. Okay, back off. I need to get rid of that mine. He's in my base. He's in my base. Oh! Creeper! Got him? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. We got him. Oh, okay. That is a mine in my base. Okay, no, Primor's still in the area. He is still here. Okay, hold up. There's a creeper right there. I don't know what he's doing. Oh! I'm gonna back up. Hold up. I'm gonna go back here. Ooh. Go back in. Wait, what? No! He, he, dude, he just took my enchanter too! No! 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I stole his enchantment table. <laughs> Now they're both dead, but dude, they took my enchanter. My diamonds are gone. I got one. Where's my iron? My iron's gone too. He literally took a bunch of stuff. Well, let's find out what he took and replace it if it's important. After the hunters raided my base, I lost a bunch of items. They took my enchanting table and a bunch of other stuff. Luckily, it only took me a couple of days to get all of it back. After that, I simply gave the base a slight revamp with a bit more security. So I upgraded the base a little bit and it now does this. That's a creeper. So that's the upgraded den. Den 2.0 has a cool fancy door. Outside that, what are we gonna do next? Well, I actually have a really good idea. I want to unlock the Lion's Breath ability. It's the last ability on the utility tree. I gain the ability to detect nearby ores. And that's gonna be super helpful in unlocking tons of other abilities, so I need to get that as soon as possible. So what is step one in doing that? We already have Roar, so next we would need Lion's Breath, which requires a God Apple, four Golden Apples, and one Glass Bottle. That's what we're gonna do. We need to go find some desert temples so we can get this next upgrade done. So I'm gonna go look for some temples and we'll see if we can find one. Oh, a temple! Literally right in front of us, there's a temple. Oh, yes. We got a temple. Oh! Okay, I didn't set it off. We're good. Okay. <gasps> Yo, we get a golden apple. We get two! Okay, what do we got? Two more emeralds. Nice. We found two golden apples, though. That's, that's two that we needed. And we're out. Okay, how did I get in there? Did I go from up here? Is that another one over there? Oh, no, I think that's one of those well things. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, God, the hunters are here. I can see their name right there. Ready? We're going to get him with bleed. I missed. Got him with bleed. Hope the other one's coming. Go this way. Let's get the other one with bleed. Here we go. Ready? There we go. Oh, he's running. Oh, I'm so slow in water. No. Okay. It looks like they got away for now. I think the other one died. So I think I killed one. Now they know where I am. Let's just keep going through the desert and see if we can find more temples because uh, we need more golden apples. And this is the fastest way I can think to get them. After getting away from the hunters, I still needed two golden apples and a god apple. It took me another two days before I even found another desert. But it turns out that would be all I need. Yeah, we got a mesa biome. Oh, no. Oh, temple. Oh, my God. A temple. I see one. Let's go. Okay. Any golden apples today? Okay, let's grab the nine TNT underneath. And let's see what we got in the chests. Nothing good. Nothing really that good. Nothing good. Okay, total waste of time. Let's get out of here. Okay, we'll keep following the desert. So it's actually a pretty big one. So there could be at least one more. Oh, I literally see one. Literally right in front of... <gasps> Okay, I literally see it. Yeah, totally. We're good. We didn't just fall in a ditch and almost die. Okay, this one we can go right in the side door. Whoop. Break. Give me the TNT. And what do we got this time? Anything good? Yeah, golden apple. We only need one more of those. Two more fire charges. Nothing. A flint and steel. Oh, a, a god apple. Oh, we literally just need one golden apple and we're done. We're so close. So we found one over there and one over there. And this desert keeps going, dude. It's huge. No, I don't, it doesn't look like it. It looks like this one. Wait, wait. It's either a well or a temple right up ahead. It is a temple. Oh my god, three. Dude, one desert and three and it's not even that big of a desert. Let's go. Please have a golden apple. Let's go! We literally just need a glass bottle and we can do the upgrade and we're out. Boom! We have everything we need. We just need to go back to the base and make a glass bottle. Okay, let's throw our furnace down. Let's... And that'll get us one glass. Let's quickly go grab some more wood over there. Throw the other wood in. Throw two more sand in. Grab my furnace. Let's quickly go find some wood to make a crafting table. Okay, let's grab a piece of wood. Ba -ba -da -ba, I got a glass bottle. Now let's do this next upgrade. And now we can do Lion's Breath, which gives us the ability to full heal, but become slowed for 20 seconds. Oh, it's numpad two. So right now you can see I'm actually down 10 hearts. So if I hit numpad two, you'll see I'm now at full HP, but I have slowness now for 20 seconds. But it's not a big deal when I have speed upgrades as a lion. The slowness actually is still about the same as normal running speed, if not a little faster. So it's really not that big of a hindrance. Anyway, let's keep heading on home because we got tons of more abilities as a lion to still unlock. It took most of day 41 just to get home. And when I got home, I simply wanted to go to bed. However, the hunters had other plans. All right. We got a lion to catch, partner. Okay, and we're almost home. Whoop! Oh, we fell. And boom, we are home. Ooh, that's a mine. That was not here before. Careful. Oh, hunters! Oh, the hunters here! I see them up there. We're going in. We're going in the base. What? Oh God! Duh. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. The furnace there. Got one with bleed. Got one with bleed. That there. And. Got one, and they're both done. Look at that. Just like that, dude. My new powers are so OP. And just like that, I can just hit numpad two, and we're back to full HP. Oh, man. You guys don't. 
you don't stand a chance. Okay, good morning on the next day. And uh, obviously yesterday we survived the attack from the hunters. They know where my base is. I didn't have time to, I guess, fully disguise the outside, so it wasn't fully disguised. But they know where it is at this point. And I think I just got to pack up and go. So that's kind of what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack up and move bases. So we're going to grab the enchanting table back there where we're keeping it for safekeeping. And then we're going to grab all our stuff and just move it to a new base and then design a quick new base that we can use. And we'll kind of go from there. Okay, there we go. Grab this thing. Let's quickly go pick a spot for a new base. Doesn't even have to be far. It just has to be not here. So I'm going to keep getting murdered over here. So I need to pick a new spot. So I'm thinking we simply go to the other side of the mountain. Boom. This cave looks perfect for a brand new base. This is going to be Rye Guys Pride Rock 2. Okay, so we are an adult lion and we got a lot of work to do. So uh, let's start digging out the new den. There we go. Look at this. Now we have this whole staircase down so we can build a whole upstairs area. And then this is just like the main den room. This is going to be sick. Now we're just going to build some walls real fast. Okay, cool. We got the entryway done. Let's just do some more blocking off. Okay, cool. The base is carved out exactly how I want it. So you're going to come in here. You have two downstairs area and one upstairs area. This is going to be nice. And this is going to be the central den room. Okay, now that we got this part done, let's quickly make some chests. Okay, let's store all our stuff in this chest. And we're going to go back and get the rest of our stuff back at the camp. Okay, let's start delivering the stuff back. Okay, the base is completely moved to here. And then simply place our bed down this way. Now we can sleep. Okay, and good morning. It is day 43. We've set up the new base kind of over here. Let's go and let's just start getting the base in order so it's not just a bunch of stone and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and set this area down here as the enchanting area. So we're going to put our enchanting table here and eventually surround this with a bunch of bookshelves. We're also going to go ahead and upgrade the entrance a little bit and try and make this all stone so it just looks a little more natural. And then we can cover it with grass and just disguise it a little more. And then that's really going to be the main two goals of the day. So let's go ahead and let's make some books first with what we just have on us. So let's go ahead. We have uh, enough to do at least four of these bad boys. We can make one bookshelf there. Okay, so we currently have four different bookshelves, so let's go ahead and let's put them in their place. One there, one there, and we'll place one here as well. Perfect, let's go make some more books. I'll be taking these, and these, and these. And finally you. Looks like I was gonna need this leather in the end. So let's go ahead and let's make those books now that we can. We take the 64 leather we have, and now we have two more bookshelves. Now we just need three more. And let's put the bookshelves in their spot. There we go. And we'll just fill in the tops with some wood there. And perfect. Our enchanting room is done. Now let's head on upstairs and let's go ahead and let's smelt a bunch of cobblestone into stone. So that way this place can look a little bit more natural. Okay, now we just let all the cobblestone smelt and done. There we go. Let's collect all our stone. And there we go. Now let's replace it with all this. Now let's replace all this cobblestone with stone. I'd say that definitely looks much more natural than it did. And that would be much harder to come across now that I got rid of the cobblestone and changed stone. So I'd say that's a mission success. Now it's just time to go to sleep and wake up on the next day. Hello on this gorgeous 44th day. Okay, well, the sun is shining and that means we have tons of work that we got to get done if we want to keep surviving. So now it's time to start working on the next upgrade. So what is the next upgrade you might ask? Well, let's look. Since we want to get lion scent, the next one we need to get is called water log, which allows me to breathe and swim faster underwater. And to get it, I need 200 50 feathers and 64 obsidian. That's a lot. To get a stack of obsidian is going to take around 10,000 ticks, and that's if I'm mining constantly. But we have no choice. We have to get the 64 obsidian, so we're gonna have to do that. But first, let's start by getting the chickens done with because that's easier. Let's go murder some chickens. <laughs> Okay, just murdered the last chicken. We officially, I think that should be enough. And now we just need the 64 obsidian. And I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Let's go back to the base and go to sleep. Okay, day 45. It is time to mining for all 64 obsidian. This is probably gonna take most of the day, if not all day into tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Minimum 10,000 ticks, which is half a day. So we're gonna find out how long this takes. Uh, this is gonna be pretty grindy. So uh, break the obsidian. Okay, and there we go. We're finally done. 64 obsidian. Okay, let's get back to the server. Okay, we're back. It's nighttime, so let's go to bed and let's do the upgrade in the morning. Okay, let's go. Let's do the upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and grab our feathers up here. We have the obsidian and the feathers. Let's go to our thing and let's unlock waterlogged. There we go. So now we can breathe and swim faster underwater, which we'll go test that in a sec. But let's check out the next unlock. Super jump. Oh, actually, that's really easy. Anyway, let's go test out waterlogged. Okay, here we go. Here's a spot of water. Let's try it out. Let's go swimming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look how fast I am underwater. Oh, my breathing is like almost, it might be even infinite. I'm so fast underwater. 
Please, can I launch? Whoa. Oh my god, I can. I can launch. That's so sick. I'm like a dolphin, dude. Anyway, I'd say our power works great. Let's head on back to the base and start working towards that next upgrade. So the super jump upgrade is going to be super easy to unlock. All we have to do is head to the nether and get some blaze rods. Then we just need 12 emeralds and a water bucket. So pretty straightforward. The emeralds are going to be easy because I have a villager I already trade with. The blaze rods are easy because they're blaze rods and the water bucket's the easiest of them all. So anyway, let's get another portal built and then head to the nether. And to the nether we go. Okie dokie, we're in the nether. There's already some block I can x-ray using. Okay, let's find some blazes there we go and first group dead keep spawning please thank you and you will both die and hopefully give me blaze rods right yeah we got three. Oh, hello hey we got four perfect now we just need a water bucket and 12 emeralds i spent most of days 49 and 50 simply training with villagers till i got the 12 emeralds i needed for the next upgrade okay we have enough for the next upgrade so let's go with, let's try it super jump so with this we should be able to jump oh my god do i take fall damage Okay, I still take some fall damage, but now I have a crazy jump boost. Look at this. Boing. I can jump into trees. Can I leap into that tree? Oh my god, I can leap into these tr safari trees. That is insane, guys. Look how insane that is. I'm so OP as a lion. I mean, this looks very unnatural at this point, but I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, the main thing I want to focus on is I need a wither star for the next upgrade. If I'm going to be able to do that, I'm going to have to upgrade some more of my lion attacks first. So currently, we have claw and we have foot. But if we can get lion's push, that'll give us the ability to knock things back 20 blocks, which is going to be super useful. The 32 obsidian and the 10 diamonds should take one day and the 15 emeralds should take another and i think that's all it should take so let's go find out and let's let's get it done over the next two days i mined up the 32 obsidian the 10 diamonds and traded for the 15 emeralds that i needed for the next upgrade and this upgrade was insane it has knockback 20 on it meaning if the hunters get too close i yeah. might just send them flying okay good morning let's try out lion push and see how good it is any mob spawning nearby I see any yet i want to try out lion push to see what this knockback 20 can really do oh there's a sheep, and that sheep has my name on it. Okay, I'll eat you this way. I mean, it sent him kind of far. Not that far, though. Okay, either way, let's get back up to the base. Let's see what we have of the actual materials for this next stealth upgrade. So we need... Do we have any gold? So we have 13 of the gold we need. So we're going to have to do a little bit of mining to get this stealth upgrade complete. Um, I think we'll probably... Oh! Oh! Yeah, you shot... You hit him with the flare gun. I got him with the flare gun. I can knock him off this mountain. Watch this. <laughs> Yeeted him off the mountain, dude. Oh no! Oh, he destroyed me! Let's go, where's the other one? I see him. Oh, you're not. This ain't gonna work for you, buddy. Go that way. Yes! Oh, he's running. Let's get him with bleed. And goodbye! He's got me. I'm dead. <laughs> Base protected, and nothing can stop me. And he- ah! Except for that hole, I guess. Welcome to Minecraft 100 Day Speed Days! Let's fill you in. On days 56 and 57, I mined up all the obsidian that I needed. I also got all the diamonds needed and some of the gold on day 57. On day 58, I got all the remaining gold and traded with my villager friends to get the emeralds I needed. On to day 59. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next upgrade. We have everything we need in our inventory, which gives us the new stealth attack, which when we right click is going to allow us to teleport forward 10 blocks let's make sure we have an inventory slot for it let's remove our chicken for now let's go and let's do this upgrade and you'll see i have a new stealth attack so when i right click it boom i teleported over here 10 blocks it has a cooldown we'll wait for the cooldown to end i can leap off here and boom i'm over here isn't that great since i'm already out in the wild we're gonna go test it on the hunter's base since we're kind of nearby and we're gonna go see if they can stop us with a little teleporting action okay i'm kind of near their base see them over there i think they have like looks like cows floating above under that tower anyway we're gonna go ahead and take care of them and put the cows out of their misery so let's go ahead let's test our new teleport ability so we're gonna teleport on that tower and take him out we're gonna teleport up there and send him flying immediately ready and go okay oh we fell, we fell. oh yeah he saw me that's not gonna work. Okay, we're gonna have to get up there. There's a lion at her base. Oh. She's like teleporting to my, my base or something, partner. Hello. Goodbye. That's some fall damage, okay? Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, we're definitely in a battle now. Let's bleed Unicorn Man, because he is the gun that did a lot. Now he's bleeding. That's gonna hurt him. Let's stealth behind him. Didn't even see it coming. See, you mess with me, you get bleeded. Watch this, ready? We're gonna get behind them again. We'll run up, pretend we're running away. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Did you know I was behind you? Bet you didn't see you both later. Okay, I am super OP right now. They can't do anything to me. He's sneaking up on me. No, go away. <laughs> I think I've proven my point that I am much... Ooh, I'm gonna back up. I think I've proven the point. I am stronger than them in this current state. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here and head on back to the base. It's now day 60. We're gonna work on the next upgrade, which is final attack upgrade. To defeat the wither is gonna take 64 emeralds, 32 diamonds, 64. <laughs> so you know what this means. Yeah, it's time for a mining montage. Okay, maybe that was an exaggeration, but that's how I felt after getting the last of the emeralds I needed for that upgrade. And good morning. Okay, so we can now do the upgrade. We have everything we need for the upgrade and a little extra, to be honest. But that's all we need to get the final upgrade. So now we can get Lion's Wrath. Let's give it a shot. I've activated it. Now you can see in my inventory, I have a thing called Lion's Wrath, which completely replaces my foot ability. You see, this has 14 attack speed and 15 attack damage. I don't even need this anymore. Watch that. It's so fast. I can spam click this and it does 15. 15 damage. Everything else is pretty useful though still, so we're gonna keep it. Okay, now that we have the Lion's Wrath ability, we can take on the Wither. We need to kill the Wither so we can get the Lion's Scent ability unlocked. So let's go kill some Wither Skeletons for some Wither Skulls. Okay, here's some Wither Skeletons. Oh my god, I can just one tap these dudes. Did he drop a skull? No skull yet. Oh yo, they just dropped two. I've been killing these things forever and I didn't get any. Now I got two. Oh, I see it. The last one. Finally, we got it. Yes, that is three skulls. Now we can make our way back finally and go kill this wither. Okay, this should be far enough away from the base where I shouldn't have to worry about this wither killing it. Let's go ahead. Let's place this thing down. We got our bow ready. We got all our attacks ready. And here we go. That was very anticlimactic. Okay, here we go. This is this is for all the marbles. Okay, this is, gonna, this is where it's gonna get tricky. You are a spicy boy who is avoiding me like the plague. Okay, let's go this way into water. We, we move really fast in water, so we may be able to get him there. The bleed doesn't seem to hurt the wither, so I can't bleed the wither. We're gonna have to keep diving at this thing. Let's get some distance. We got him, nice. We gotta be better with our hits though. We gotta get him more consistently. I don't hear, a skeleton, there we go. Good, now we have ammo. Where'd he go? I hear him. Okay, let's get in the water. This is where we can beat him. The wither's done! We killed the wither! Do we? And we got the nether star! Yes! We can go home, sleep till tomorrow, mine the ores we need tomorrow, and then we can unlock the lion scent ability. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do. So we have to go mine all the ores and combine it with that nether star, and we'll be able to get the lion scent ability. And after we do that, there's only one more tree to finish, and that is the age tree, where we need to become both a leader and then the omega. And then we'll be at full lion strength. Okay, so let's try out the lion scent ability. I had to take off my shader pack because it wasn't working, but without my shaders on, it does work. Let me show you. Now that I have this on, you're gonna see that I look at all of these ores I see. The greens are emeralds. The whites, I believe, are iron or, or coal. And then as you go down, you can see there's lapis right there. And as you get even lower, you see other colors like yellow, which is gold, or red, which is redstone. This game just got way easier. Now I can just cheat to get my ores. Good morning on day 68. This is so crazy to look at. It's almost overwhelming the amount of stuff I can just see in the ground. Today, we're gonna be become the leader lion. All we need is 32 emeralds and 128 gold, which with my lion scent should be a piece of cake to get. Let's go try it out. That is already 15 gold and we already had seven ingots, meaning we only need basically 126 more. Now let's do the next age upgrade to become a leader. And boom, we're officially a leader lion. We look similar, but now we're slightly darker in color. You're also gonna notice that look how many hearts we have and we are even faster and stronger than before. We now get 25 hearts, speed five and strength five. Now to get the final Omega upgrade, we are going to need a dragon egg, 500 pork chop and 500 raw beef. It's gonna be a massive grind for the thousand meat and it's gonna be pretty hard because I have to go take down the ender dragon, get its egg just to upgrade into my final form, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, and good morning on day 69. We need to get that dragon egg so we can get our omega form unlocked. So the first step is I have to collect blaze rods so I can make eyes of ender. So let's go to the nether, let's collect some blaze rods and then come on back. Nice, and we got two blaze rods. Okay, that gives us six, we need four more. Seven, perfect, that's all we needed. Look at all this gold. This is gonna be perfect for trading. This is exactly what we needed. And let's trade those and see how many ender pearls we get. Trade me some ender pearls, fellas. Oh, I walked away for one second and we're done trading. Hello, friends, do we get an, oh, we did, we got 22, thank you. Okay, you gotta die now. 
Okay, let's make our way back home. Okay, and we are back. What day are we on? 71. Okay, well, we officially can start making our way to the fortress because we have the blaze rods and we have the ender pearls. So let's store up a bunch of the stuff we got. It gives us 14 eye of ender to start with plenty more to make. Let's grab some food before we go. Let's get going. Okay, I'm not going to be doing any more x-raying for a little while, so I turn the shader pack back on and everything looks amazing again. Anyway, let's go and let's throw our first eye of ender and see which direction we got to go to get to the end. Let's go to the top of the mountain and give this thing a throw. Okay, it looks like it's this way. Let's get to that jungle tree and throw another one. Okay, let's go up here. Here we go. Let's throw another one. It's going this way. Oh my god, a lion! Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, they're here. I got the infinity bow. He's bleeding. You're not living that one, buddy. He's done. Oh my god, that does so much damage. No! No! I only saw one, so he may just been... He, he made... I don't think the hunters were attacking. I think he was just in the area, I think. Oh, maybe not. Where did that come from? Up here, he's shooting a cannon. Oh, that hurts. That hurts, but not... Oh, but it doesn't matter. See you later. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, man. Ooh, they survived one hit of my lion's wrath, which apparently has a durability of only 2,000. I did not know that. Okay, with both of them dead, though, let's keep making our way to the end. Okay, keep going this way. Oh, we finally turned. Finally, we're here. Let's start digging down. Here we go. We found it. We found it. Break the uh, spawner. There we go. There we go, and we're in the end. Let's do it. Okay, it is time to fight this Ender Dragon. We are in the end. Let's go. Who? Oh, we're in trouble. Nice, we're alive. Okay, cool. Nice. Now let's get back up on one of the towers so we can keep destroying them. Okay, and this is the last one we need to get. Let's put a block in this corner. Ooh. Nice. Okay, get over here. And now we'll just shoot our arrow. Right there. Perfect. Okay, that should be all the Healy points. Now the dragon's in the center. Let's kill him off. Yeah, we sniped him. Let's go. Come on. Coming down to the center. Here we go. We got to bleed him. It's not working. It's okay. We can get him with this. We got him down really low. Next time he lands in the center, we'll be able to kill him. Nice. We killed him. Let's go. Okay, let's eat some food. Ah! Okay, we killed him. Let's eat some food. Then we'll get our egg. All right, partner. We got a line to stop. Who? What are they doing here? Oh, there's one over here. I see him. I see him. I see him. I'll push him back, partner. Okay, I got the egg. Oh. I got the egg. I got the egg. They took the egg. Oh, they put landmines too. Okay, eat, eat, eat. Then we're going to go through and we're going to chase him. Get some health back. Let's go. Okay, I spawned back at the bed. But the thing is, I thought it was going to bring me to spawn and we would be, I would be able to chase them. I can't even chase them. They got away with my egg. I guess that means I have to sleep for now and uh, I'll wake up tomorrow and I guess make a game plan to get it back. Hello, one day 73. So we have really two options on the table and I don't even think one of them is possible, but I'm going to think about it. Option number one is to respawn the Ender Dragon, kill it again, and get another egg however i think i need the egg to respawn the dragon i'm not positive about that but i think that's the case meaning this idea is probably a no-go option two is to straight up deal our egg back which is exactly what i'm gonna do question is though where is it time to start investigating i'm gonna make my way over to the hunter's base to check it out because that's kind of my first guess but i doubt they're stupid enough to put it there okay here we are we're at the enemy's base and they don't seem to be here they put a troll flag and everything okay so they're not here right now and i don't see the egg anywhere i don't know i need it i can't get in so let me break this okay i don't fit so that's that's kind of useless I don't think there's anything in here. Let's check in this building. Oh, what's it say? You want your egg? Go to negative 1472, 79, and negative 1119. This is obviously a trap. They have my egg. They gave me a sign to tell me where to find it. It's clearly a trap. If I want to get to my final lion form, I have no choice but to fall for this dumb trap. So I guess we're going to start heading to these coordinates. Let's go. We're within a couple hundred blocks of the coordinates here. Still don't see a... Oh, I see, I see armor. I see someone. Oh, I do, in fact, see a base. Oh, that is surrounded with traps. Those are fans on the top, so I can't go over the top. I'd have to go right in the front door. I literally see the egg. It's floating there. Oh my, look at all the mines. Yo, I might actually die here. Hold up. I need some blocks for a sec. Uh, let me go get some cobblestone. Let's get over that wall and let's check on the egg. If we can get to the egg, we're going to just grab it and take it. But if it's protected, we may not be able to just grab it. I'm going in quick. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, I can't even build up. I can't build up. How do I get into this? Hold on. Can I? Let's go around the side. Can I? If I they literally have the egg surrounded in a pit of lava. And it's on top of an If I go in there, I can't get the egg. They'll literally just blast me as I'm trying to climb up. Here we go. Jump on this cobble. There we go. Jump on this. We got over the spikes. Nice. We're in. Now we're just going to get to the egg. Okay. Can we tell? No, I, I'll die. I don't see what They're just going to blast me and shoot me into the lava if I go there. I'm literally going to die. I have to leave. I gotta leave. If I want to get that egg without dying, I'm going to need Elytra. You see, I'm gonna have to fly in there. Otherwise, they're just gonna shoot me into that lava. So let's get out of here and quickly go get some Elytra in the end, and then we'll come back, fly in, and steal our egg back. I spent a 76 through 79 simply just looking for an end city that had a ship so I could get Elytra. I found a few fortresses during my hunt, but none of them contained the Elytra ship. Unfortunately, I wouldn't find that ship until day 80. Oh, finally! We got one with a ship! Let's go! 
Okay, for a second, I thought this was another dud. Thank God I'm so fast as a lion. Let's just get up here as fast as we can and get those elytra. Booyah, we got the elytra. Grab whatever's in here. I don't care what the boots. I'll take the emeralds. Now let's make our way back to the overworld. This is gonna take a while, but now we're a flying lion. On day 81, I simply made my way back to the overworld since it was a pretty long journey. Okay, we are officially back in the overworld. I'm a lion who can fly because of my elytra. Look at this. And with these elytra, I should be able to get my egg back and turn into the omega lion. Let's finally try it out. Okay, I see their base in the distance. They've definitely done some more upgrades because there was way more traps surrounding it. But it doesn't matter what traps they put on the ground. My goal is to fly up and over to get that egg right there. So we're actually going to go ahead and uh, build a tower right here. And we are going to fly all the way over there. Here we go. We got to do this first try. Here we go. Ready? And we're going in. They don't even notice I'm here yet. Oh, he sees me. Oh, oh he's, he's in the middle. He's in the middle. Oh, we can get out of here. Oh, they just shot me down. Okay, we're going to have to take him out. Okay, one's dead. Let's get him off. Oh, you're going down. Okay, here we go. Let's go down here. Land on this block. Oh, they threw it. Actually, that's going to help me. That smoke's going to actually help me. Oh, maybe not. Well, now I can't see him. Why would you do that? No, you're making oh, it worse. Okay, I'm stuck in this smoke. I can't. Okay, I'm at the egg. Okay, we need to break this block. Oh, I'm shot. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We need to break this and this. Nice. We can do it now. Let's just break this obsidian quick. Nice. We got one. He fell again. He... I got the egg. I got the egg. Okay, ready? And fly. No, he got the egg. Got the egg. Oh my god, I got over the wall. We're gone. Oh, they're chasing. Okay, quickly eat some food, throw on the armor, and then we can kill them, turn around and kill them real quick. You're not chasing me. One down, two down. Oh, he's not down. He's almost dead. Okay, we're, we're out of here. We're running. We're running. We're just gonna get out of here. We got the egg. I'm gonna count this as a win. That was a win. We got the egg. It didn't go perfectly as planned, but we still got it. Let's go. And we're home on day 83. Perfect. Okay, now that we're back, let's go ahead and do the upgrade. We have the dragon egg, and all we need besides that is the thousand meat. So now we gotta quickly just do the grind for a thousand meat, which shouldn't take too long, and then we'll go from there. So you know what time it is? It's time for a meat montage. Okay, let's grab all of the meat we can from our chest. This should be enough with the dragon egg to turn into the Omega Lion, the final form that we can unlock. So let's go step outside and do the final upgrade. And look at me! I am the Uber Lion. Look at my punch. I'm on two legs. Ooga dooga. Look at this. Literally look how fast I'm running. Look at this. Okay, there's their base. I got the TNT ready. I got the redstone torch. We need to blow it up. Now let's go take them out, shall we? Jump over everything. He's mutant. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, and we're in, baby. Oh, okay. No, we're in a trap. Oh, oh my gotcha. God. <laughs> he fell in our trap. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I blocked myself in. Oh, they just did half my heart in one shot. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. You know, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's break over here. Oh my God, there's water under here. I can use this. We can get up on this block. There we go. Place one here. Place one here. And we're out already, dude. See you later. Oh, they have a lever here. Perfect. We'll use this. And I'm gone. Oh, wait, he's blowing up our oh, wall. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Look at that, baby. All your items are blown up. Well, it looks like a chest survived. Hold on, let's see if we can set that off. Uh-oh, I'm levitating. I'm levitating. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm taking my win. We're gone. That was tough. That was insane. I knew destroying the hunter's base on day 85 was going to slow them down a ton. And it definitely did. Because I didn't even see the hunters for the next three days. And they were running out of time. So I must have set them back a lot. Okay, so perfect. Let's let's start enchanting some of our stuff. Let's see. We can get sharpness three on our lion's wrath. So already, it is much stronger. So now, it's not just 15, or 15 damage. It's 17 attack damage. So it's now even stronger. Let's also get some of our armor upgraded so let's start with our diamond chest plate all right partner i'm ready i'm shooting blow it up yep oh they're here they're here oh no they're sitting off tt hold on protect the chest protect the chest oh god i just almost get hit by a missile oh no they're destroying my chest oh he missed he missed he missed no he did destroy my chest oh god okay i'm going over here for this guy oh okay that did a lot that did a lot where's the other one where's the other guy yeah you like that <laughs> oh god he's still coming at me Oh, okay. That did a decent bit. My protection one definitely makes their bullets do less, though. Use roar. Let's make him nauseous. Nice. Okay, let's eat. I think they're... Oh, I got hit again. Where? Where, 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 where? Oh, I'm hit again. There he is. Okay, my health's too low. I'm not going to fight this. Oh, 
My health's really low now. He just blasted me. We're gone. Unicorn's gun just got rid of half my HP in a single shot. I gotta go, because one more bullet of that and I'm dead. I was able to recover some of the stuff, but most of my stuff's gone. Rest in peace, base. But we gotta move on to a new one. The hunters now have netherite bullets. And those things are insanely strong. Even against me as an Omega Lion, I stand little chance against those things. Luckily for me, though, I have the ability to smell out ores. So for the next three days, I used my lion scent to find tons of ancient debris and upgraded all my gear into netherite. Okay, cool. Let's go back in the base. Whip. And there we go. So perfect. We're doing good. We have the full netherite armor, fully accomplished, and we have it with all our enchantments on it. So today we're going to work on getting our enchantment table up and running again, and then see if we can get some better enchantments to make some better netherite armor. Because while protection one and stuff is good, I don't know if that's going to be able to stop all of their netherite bullets. Are they blocked? They're here. That bridge was not there before. Oh my god. Wait, are they? Oh, hold on. I need to get in. They're breaking in right now. Watch this. Oh, he blocked it quick. Okay, the, dude, the netherite armor stopped so much more of their bullets. Oh my god, that only did a little speck of my health. That's much better. Okay, well, they're dead, um, and their race isn't nearby, so I think it's gonna be a bit before they're back. So for now, we're good. After defeating the hunters once again with my upgraded armor, I only had five more days to survive. And lucky for me, I wouldn't even have to fight them again until day 96. Okay, perfect. We have an escape tunnel now, so that way if we need to, we can escape at the back, and we won't get trapped in just one front door area. Otherwise, we could really get ourselves in a pickle. All right, let her rip. All right. Ooh. Okay, I'd say our tunnel looks pretty good overall. What is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. What did I get hit by? Oh, God. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm on fire. Quick, get my stuff. Get my stuff. Get my stuff. Get go. They know where the base is. They know where the base is. Go. Okay, we can win this. We can win this. Let's just heal up. Just in case they try to blow up my stuff. We have it. Oh. They tried to just trick me into TNT. Nice, we got him. And there he is. There's the other one. Let's get him. And goodbye. No, he's gonna die. He's gotta die from that, right? Yes, there we go. Yes. Okay, we survived that. They blew the heck out of my base, but luckily this time we saved the diamonds. They didn't actually end up blowing up any of the chests. They all ended up surviving, luckily. Let's just rebuild this base because I really don't feel like moving at this point again. And because uh, all I really gotta do is replace the floor. And I already just built this tunnel and I really don't want to get rid of it. So let's just repair the base real quick because I know for a fact this is only the beginning of their attacks as we are getting really close to day 100. The next few days continued with the hunters attacking me again and again and again. But still, with my armor and full lion upgrades, they couldn't take me down. That is, until day 99, where they tricked me into an extremely dangerous trap. If this doesn't kill him, I, I don't know what's going to kill him. I because that yeah, thing is so elaborately set. Okay, we're running low on food, so... We're... They just tried to shoot my base again. Let's go. Let's just kill him for it, because I'm not even going to let him near the base. Where'd they go? What is that? I see a tower up ahead. They're both there. They're climbing. Okay, let's get him. Let's hit him off. Oh, oh God. Eat, 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 eat. Yeah, what's up, lion? Whoa. Okay, okay, <laughs> fell in, fell in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, they just almost blew me up. They had a trap set up. That almost blew me up. Okay, I need to find a way out of here. This is a tough one to get out of. They definitely put a rim on this. There we go. They're up top there. I see them. Get under this tree so they can't shoot me. Oh, that almost killed me, though. That got me really low. Oh, what? Oh, I lived out with one HP. What was that? It put me just in the air. Go over here. We can kill them here. We can kill them here. Is that sunsetting? Yeah, that's sunsetting. Dude, we're on day 99. This is literally going to be it if I can kill them here. Okay, just hide under this tree. Oh, God. Let's get under them. They can't do anything if I'm under them. <laughs> he is a giant lion below us. Ah! He's done. Oh, do we live? We can get him. You're done. You're done. You're done. Let's go. They're dead. Oh, let's go. Oh, we survived. We're, we're done. What? We're done. It's, it's day 99. We're done. We gathered so much TNT and so many spikes and so much lava for that. And it didn't even kill you. And uh, we don't we don't know what to do now. We're just, we're done. Uh, I will say I was down to one heart during that fight. Are you kidding? I was down to one heart. Oh my god. You guys had me on the like cusp. If you guys are gonna surrender, I'm just gonna wait till day 100 for the sun to come up, and that means I win. Okay, well, the sun is rising. It is almost day 100, and we have officially won 100 days as a lion. We were victorious. It is day 100, and that means we have survived 100 full days as a lion, and the Omega Lion was too strong to beat. Thanks for watching.